Hey, what's up you guys? It's Connor, and today I'm going to be doing my April wrap-up. I read, how many books? I read seven books and a short story, so I'm just going to get into it and tell you guys a little bit about each book that I read. The first book that I read is The Revenge of Seven by Pitticus Lore, um, who's actually something Fink, I think, and I know that uh, he kind of took advantage of the other author of the book and kind of kicked him off the project, so that's bad, and if I'd known that, I don't know if I would have started the series, but I already did when I was a kid, so I've, oh sh but I have enjoyed this series so far, and I really like reading about the Lorians and their different powers and, and how they're doing on Earth. Uh, in this book, it was pretty much a setup for the next book. I don't know how many books are supposed to be in the series. I'm, I don't know, probably seven would be my guess, if I had to guess. But regardless, it's really fun. It's fast-paced. It's just, it's a good YA fantasy series, in my opinion. The next book that I read is The Death of Yorick Mortwell by Stephen Messer. Uh, this is a really, really short book. Uh, it's a kid's book about this kid named Yorick who is murdered slash dies, and then he comes back and his purpose in the afterlife is to save his sister. So, it's it's cute. It's, it took me like an hour to read. I, I enjoyed it. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, um, just because it was, it was good, but nothing like crazy amazing. Uh, and I gave The Revenge of Seven 4 stars, if I forgot to mention that. The next book that I read is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. As you guys know, I absolutely love Brandon Sanderson, and so this was one of the last novels uh, in the Cosmere that I hadn't read yet. So in this book, the magic system has to do with um, colors and uh, something called breath, and so each person is born with a breath, and if they're down and out and they don't have any money, they can sell their breath to someone else. And once you collect a certain number of breaths, you start getting extra powers, so like your senses become better, or you can uh, instill life into inanimate objects, or life, it doesn't actually like live or anything. Um, and so the story follows uh, a few a few characters, uh, but two of them are princesses to a kingdom, and one of them is the oldest sister, and she's supposed to marry this, this like god king from another kingdom, but the father sends the youngest sister instead. And so that's, you know, causes drama, and um, she has to, the youngest sister, Siri has to figure out what to do um, in this new kingdom, and how to act, and like what to, like, like her whole situation. So uh, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. I really liked learning about um, the different characters in the, in the magic system. Um, I think there's a lot, a lot, a lot of room for Brandon Sanderson to explore this world and other books. Um, which I think he said that he's going to do, so I'm very excited about that. But yeah, 5 out of 5 stars, no questions, just just so good, just read it. I don't know when um, we're supposed to read it for the year of Cosmere, um, which I also apologize for not hosting my month. Um, that was when I had Lyme disease and I just literally couldn't do anything. So, um, I mean, I know that's an excuse and I still just take full blame and that's just me. I think that um, because I had planned on making videos, I think I might just still make them and then post them, um, even though it's after after the month when we were supposed to read uh, The Well of Ascension. But let me know if that would be something that you guys are interested in. I have a lot of free time um, because I just finished uni, so yeah. But read this book too. <laughs> the next book that I finished is The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Addison. Uh, this is a standalone adult fantasy novel um, about this this guy who's the fourth son of the emperor and he is half elf half goblin and all of his brothers and his father die and so he becomes the next emperor and he has to deal with all the political drama that happens with all of that and he has to deal with um, like assassination attempts and um, like financial stuff and like just all of that good wonderful stuff as well as deal with um, some personal issues um, from his past. So in this book, I really enjoyed it, but I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars because of a few things. One, uh, it could get a little um, dense at parts, pretty pretty boring. Um, and the other thing was that it, it's just like a personal thing that I was having a really hard time with, not, not like anything to do with um, the book being bad. It was that they use formal first person, so instead of saying I, um, I would say we. So like the regal we, um, yeah, they use that a lot, and um, 
in situations, like in any formal situation, they always say we, and so you don't really, like, they, they make a point to tell you if it's a plural we or a formal singular we, but I still had a hard time getting used to it because I've never heard anyone use the regal we for real in real life. So that was something I had to get used to. I really enjoyed this series. There's one part where I started like tearing up a little bit. Um, so it's, it's a really, really, really good book. I might have given it a 4.5 stars out of 5 stars. I'm not exactly sure. But it's really good. So I would highly suggest reading this one as well if that sounds like that's something that would be interesting to you. The next book that I finished, but I started it a while before I finished it, was Rise of Empire by Michael J. Sullivan. I started this book and then um, kind of hit a reading slump, and so I didn't... It wasn't because of this book. It was because of other books. But um, I loved this book. I got a, gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. This is the third and fourth books in the Ryeria Revelations tri or Not trilogy. I guess there's three books, but there's six books in total. Um, there's three bind-ups. And... Um, I just love it. I love this series so much so far. It's about an assassin and a mercenary named Royce and Hadrian and they're best friends and so they like go through their adventures together and they have a lot of witty banter and it's just a lot of fun and there's a really great secondary characters and I just I just I'm a I'm very I'm a big fan of this book. It's very good. I just I like it. <laughs> the next book that I finished is Half a King by Joe Abercrombie. This is the author of the First Law trilogy, and I can't remember the name of this trilogy. I think it has something to do with Shattered. Shattered something. Shattered World? No. I don't know. I liked this book. It's a young adult start of a trilogy, and it's about this guy who is the second... I don't know why, but I read a lot of um, books with heirs to thrones in it. But uh, this is guy is the second son of the king, and then the king and the son die, the first son. And so the second son has to become king, but he has like a messed up hand. Um, so I think it's like a, he, he only has like a couple fingers on it. So um, he is considered like half a per, like half a man at the beginning, and then when his father and his brother die, he becomes half a king. Like, that's something that like, he has to deal with, like, personally, um, having to deal with everyone thinking that he's um, lesser of a man and lesser of a king than uh, other people would be. I don't know, I thought it was going to be a lot darker, because I've heard jo Joe Abercrombie is um, kind of like a dark fantasy um, author, but it wasn't that bad. It was very young adult, very just let me, like, go around the world and, like, do all these little um, adventures. It was very predictable to me. I thought it was, like, I don't know, I, I predicted the ending, like, straight away. But it was still really good, so it was like, it's like, mm. I don't know. That's why it's a three stars. So, yeah, self-explanatory. The last book that I finished in the month of April was Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. This is the second book in the Farseer trilogy, and I gave this book a three stars. This series follows the illegitimate son of an old heir to the throne uh, named Fitz, or Fitz Chivalry. And because he is still a part of the royal family, he's not just left to do his own thing. But the world is very, very interesting, and I really like the magic system that they've set up so far. They have two different types of magics. There's wit, which is um, being able to communicate with animals, and then there's skill, which is being able to um, read people's minds and talk to people in their minds. Although I do like the world that is set up, the, the middle of this book was really um, just uninteresting to me. It was, it was boring, and I got stuck about, like, 200 pages in or something, 200 and something pages in, and I couldn't read anymore. It was just, like, so, I just didn't want to do it. And so then I put the book down, and I ended up going to a reading slump. I started this book in January, so it took me, like, three months to read it because I just didn't want to. I was dreading it. And, um... But then once I pushed past that really boring part, the ending was amazing. It was fantastic. So I don't... It was so upsetting that the middle was so boring and the ending was so good. I had to give it a three stars out of five stars um, just because it's, you know, my four and five stars books don't, um, don't do that. So I did enjoy it. I will read the third book. I have to buy it um, because now I'm curious of what is going to happen. But I would keep in mind if you're going to start this series that at some points it will get boring. The first book wasn't boring though, but this one was. Yeah. And the last thing that I read in the month of April was 
um, a short story from Dangerous Women. It was the one written by Brandon Sanderson, which is called... Ooh, I can't remember what it's called. And the short story is called Shadows for Silence in the Forest of Hell. Uh, it was really fun. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. It's about this girl named Silence. Uh, she runs a tavern that's uh, in this forest. And in the forest there are uh, like spirits. And there's rules to not upset the spirits. And one of them is you don't run uh, after after like dusk or whatever. You don't draw blood, which is the big one. And then you don't uh, light a fire. So those are the three rules. And she just has to live her life. And she's got some problems financially. So that causes her to do um, some dangerous things, and it's just a lot of fun. Not really fun. I, got, I wouldn't say it was fun, but it was enjoyable to read, and it's, I think it's a Cosmere novella. I don't know for sure. But I really did enjoy it, and I am curious to see what the other uh, short stories are in this book. I, I don't know. There's ones by Joe Abercrombie, Lev Grossman, Jim Butcher, Sherilyn Kenyon, Diana Gabaldon, Carrie Vaughn. K. Pinman and um, obviously George R. R. Martin. So that should be exciting to read. So those are the books and the one novella that I read in the month of April. Let me know down in the comments what you read or if you have any comments on the books that I read. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a May TBR. I might. I don't know. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye.